The debate over bilingual education now. Should schools teach their kids native languages or just stick to English? Seems one side is gaining some ground on the issue with one man becoming the driving force behind the change. In a Fox report now from Trace Gallagher. Arizona's English-only movement is an echo of what voters said two years ago in California. Get rid of bilingual education. The result? Most students who didn't speak English are thriving. Are they able to keep up? Uh, yes, and the scores show it. Formerly bilingual children have improved their test score rank by an average 9% in reading, 14% in math. Was it hard to learn how to speak English? English-only supporters say the hard part was fighting the education establishment until this millionaire physicist and entrepreneur donated his time and money to the cause. Unless I got involved, it would have been very difficult for them to move their effort to the ballot. After California, Arizona came calling. A number of individuals in Arizona, in fact almost all of them Latino and mostly Mexican born, who'd been fighting bilingual education for years in that state, contacted us and asked me to help them and give them advice. Advice and more than $100,000, the bulk of Proposition 203's funding. If I didn't do it, it isn't clear who would be doing it. Let's go hard! Let's go hard! Critics in Arizona say they resent outsiders sponsoring a ballot initiative on how to educate their children. It's brought uh, to us from individuals uh, that uh, belong to a national movement that believe that English is the only uh, requirement uh, in this country. Surveys show 74% of Arizonans support Proposition 203. If it passes, the man behind the movement will move on to New York, Florida, Illinois, hoping to convince those states to expel bilingual education from their classrooms. In Los Angeles, Trace Gallagher, Fox News.